Hey everyone, welcome to Tree, your home for all things emerging tech. Hope everybody is doing well. Going to be doing a little bit of a breakdown video for you all today. Um, what we're going to be doing is using Deep Motion, which is an artificial intelligence kind of motion tracking, um, motion capture, cloud-based app. So what we want to do is basically take a video and we're going to run it through this deep motion software, uh, web-based software, and hopefully output a usable animation that can be put into a game engine or you know, uh, 3D render content, anything like that. So we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a test for our game, Ultimate Disc Golf. And what we're going to do is we're basically taking a video from a pro disc golfer off of YouTube, and we're just going to run that through this deep motion and uh, see, you know, how the output is. I'm going to take you through the steps as we go through that. So I've already logged in, and um, you can see the URL up here. If you haven't checked it out before, just go to deepmotion.com. Uh, they do have a, a free plan for right now, and that's what we're going to be using today. So once you sign up, you'll have this dashboard screen here. And pretty much from this screen, you're ready to take a video, um, you know, assuming you have a video. Now, they do recommend uh, a couple things for a video, so I'll go ahead and break that down really quick. You do want to make sure that you uh, have a clear view of uh, the person that you want to motion capture. And you want to make sure that there's not a lot of, like, loose clothing. It needs to be able to uh, capture points like the elbows and knees as far as the software goes so making sure you have uh, you know shorts and t-shirt or at least tight fitting uh, somewhat tight fitting clothing will work better apparently so once you have your video you're gonna go ahead and click on animate 3d cloud okay and they give you a little bit of uh, metrics here we're gonna go ahead and click on create animation So for now, we're just going to use the default, but you can, as you can see here, you can also upload a custom character uh, with your own rigging and skeleton. Okay, so here's uh, some of that information about the best results. So you wanna make sure that the camera in the video stays still six to 20 feet from the camera for your character. Uh, neutral lighting with high contrast between the subject and the background is recommended. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work for our video, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Okay, so again about the clothing and so occlusion says, should not be occluded by any objects and there should be a single subject in the motion clip for the best results. Okay, so we meet most of that criteria for our video. I'm not sure about the lighting, but everything else should be good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and output a video. Actually, so right here you can output your FBX, so that's your, you know, your model file and animation file. It also lets you output just kind of a video of the resulting animation. Okay, so once you've got your settings how you like them, you just click on create animations. This might take a bit, so through the magic of video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut ahead. Okay, so after a little bit of a wait, we now have the resulting animation. We're gonna go ahead and test that out right now. Okay. 
that's actually, you know, not too bad. So we have our professional disc golfer, Mr. Paul McBeth up there, uh, doing a great job. And this is actually, you know, not bad. I see, you know, not too much foot sliding. Uh, probably could be cleaned up a little bit. So what we would typically do is take this uh, with our current workflow using Unreal Engine 4.26, we'll actually take this directly to Unreal Engine and then bake it to our control rig so we can actually do some cleanup on the animation directly inside the engine using Sequencer and then bake out the animation. So that saves us from having to go back to a lot of different uh, software uh, importing and exporting. So let's go ahead and try a couple of these little options here. Okay, so that's with our male character. Seems like it kind of hops a little bit. Let's try a couple more. I feel like maybe because I'm recording the animation isn't playing back as smooth. Uh, the, my first test actually was a little smoother, so we'll see how it looks once it actually is uh, inside Unreal. But So that's pretty much it. So DeepMotion is a pretty cool software. I do think that there's some room for improvement, but we are really excited about this type of technology. So you know, motion capture suits with inertia and things like that are, are really great, but they're also pretty expensive. And um, it's difficult for most indie companies and studios to uh, get their hands on, on that. So a software like this that's cloud-based, I think really fills a gap. So we definitely recommend that you give it a try. Uh, maybe try with some simpler animations. With this one, it's, you know, kind of an action animation. So you know, I might be a little bit harder for the current iteration of the software to be accurate, but overall, I mean, it is still pretty accurate. So be exciting to see where they take it from here. As I said, they do have a free tier, which allows for, I believe up to 60 seconds. I'll have to double check that, but you, you get a pretty decent amount of uh, animation time per month for the free tier. And uh, the first tier above that, the paid tier is still pretty reasonable. So you know, you could probably do a lot with it without having to invest too much and then, you know, a little bit of cleanup uh, in whatever software that you're using. So we definitely recommend it. Check it out. It's called deepmotion.com. And I appreciate you checking out the video. Again, thank you for stopping by Tree. Make sure to subscribe if you like content like this. We'll be definitely be doing more breakdowns, showing more new technology as we continue to build our own projects here.